Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's take a look at the content of the Almanac data contained in subframe 4 and 5. Remember, subframe 5 contains the Almanac data of the first 24 satellites, and then subframe 4 contains additional Almanac data for the next 8 satellites for a total of 32 satellites. So we're able to keep track of the Almanac data of 32 satellites if you have a receiver receiving the uh, the subframe data from the satellites. Now notice that the content of the subframe data, uh, or I should say the content of the uh, um, almanac data, trying to figure out the word, the content of the almanac data as compared to the ephemeris data is very, very, very similar. It's not exactly the same, it's extremely similar, with a big difference that it's not nearly as accurate. So when we take a look at the number of bits associated with this, and we take a look at the LSBs, you will find that, um, that the accuracy of this data is not nearly as good as the ephemeris data. And for good reason, because we can't contain that accurate data. It would take too much space, it would take too long to transmit it, and it just needs to be good enough to know approximately where every one of the satellites in the constellation are so that the receiver can very quickly find those after it has received the almanac data of one of the satellites. Remember, each satellite contains the almanac data of all the satellites, so you just need to find one satellite, download the almanac data, and from that you can then know the position of every other satellite in the constellation. Most of this data is what we call in the uh, two's complement format, and let me indicate which ones they are. So it would be this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'm not sure about these, but I know those for sure are in um, two's complement format. And so let's go through the list. So we have the eccentricity of the orbit, the time of ephemeris, so that is to make sure that we know what the current ephemeris data time is associated with. So because then when we compare this to when we download the ephemeris data, we want to make sure that the time matches. We also have what we call the delta angle of inclination, which is different from what we find in the ephemeris data where they give you the inclination angle at, at the reference time. And so there's an association between these two and we'll get into the details of that. We also have the rate of the right ascension. We have the square root of the semi-major axis. We have the longitude of ascending mode, the argument of the perigee, the mean anomaly at reference time. And then we have these two parameters. These two are what we call amplitude offset parameters to, in, order, in order to calculate the SV time. Now notice that this is a linear equation, which is not as accurate as the offset parameters that we get for the, with the ephemeris data where we have a third term, the second order power term, uh, and we have, so we have an AF2 in the ephemeris data which is not included here again. The delta T calculation based upon the almanac data and these two parameters is not going to be as accurate as the delta TSV uh, that we get from the, um, from the ephemeris data, but good enough again for what we need. So these are, this is the, the data contained within each of the 24 frames of, uh, or should say pages of subframe five. And this is also the structure that we'll find in those eight uh, pages that we find in subframe four for a total of 32 satellites. And again, we'll talk about the details of how these are used later on, but we simply just now want to get a feel of what's contained them. Uh, next, we'll get the, uh, we'll put up the structure of the subframes and the pages themselves, so you can see how all the data is distributed throughout the various words of each subframe, but that will come later. So here we just have a list of what's contained in the almanac data. That way it gives you a good idea of what it contains. And again, this is just for the orbital parameters of each of the 32 satellites that can be contained within the data set.